Hello everyone and welcome to episode 8, I believe, of Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Uh, so in the previous episode we set up our nether portal and I said I was going to go and explore the nether. Uh, however, I did go and do that, but my recording uh, had some issues, so unfortunately I've lost the footage that happened with that. Uh, we didn't find anything too exciting. I did basically, as a quick summary, I ventured into the nether. We went over to that nether fortress that we saw at the end of the previous episode. And I basically got a tiny bit of loot, nothing too exciting, and I died. And then I went back to get my loot, and I died again. And then on the way out, I died again. So I actually lost most of our equipment. Uh, I got ambushed by a wither skeleton, basically, and then since I didn't have any backup gear, it, like, I didn't really have any defense to go and get my stuff. Uh, but we managed to get out of there with just a tiny bit of glowstone and some soul sand. And so since the previous episode, I have done a bit of d uh, mining to rebuild our armor, and I've mined up a lot of iron to get a full set of iron equipment back up, and I actually also found six diamonds while I was digging about. I used one to craft a diamond shovel, which you may think is a bit weird, but it is because of another project that uh, we are going to be working on in this episode. Um, but since we have five diamonds, that means that we can go ahead and craft an enchanting table, and the which I think will become very handy, because considering how much I died in the nether, we definitely need to get better equipment before we go back there. So I would like to get at least a diamond sword, some, diamond, some bits of diamond armor, if not a full set, and get that enchanted. Uh, obviously, to get a full enchanting setup, we need bookshelves, which we need more leather for, and also we need sugarcane. So two um, projects that I'm going to be working on towards that is setting up a barn to get animals in, uh, farms included, uh, not fire, <laughs> cows included, so that we can breed them up and get more leather. And then I also want to set up a fully automatic sugarcane farm. Uh, this episode we're going to be working on the barn, which I have an area set up and an outline ready with, and a design in my mind as well that we're going to go with. Uh, but for the time being, uh, finally, since we made this house, we've been unable to light this fireplace because we needed soul sand to get soul fire. But in the my previous death attempts, we did get some soul sand, so we can finally light this fireplace. So there we go, we finally have the fireplace lit, which looks lovely. Uh, so I have some building materials here on me. I have oak logs, oak planks, and glass and glass panes. Uh, I think this is all that I'm going to need for the thing. Actually, I need some cobblestone as well, which we have plenty of. Uh, I have a bit of glowstone as well, which I may dot around the place uh, once I kind of figure out where it's going to look nice. Um, but yeah, luckily I did I uh, did not lose the diamond pickaxe when I went to the nether because I left it here. Um, yeah, I think the only thing of note is I got this crossbow and then basically some, some glowstone and then I got some more iron when I was looking. So nothing too exciting other than the six diamonds mainly. But, like I said, in this episode we're going to be making a barn, and we're going to try and lure some cows in, and breed a few up, and make a start on that. And we'll also, I'm also going to be making a space for our horse to live. And the reason I have another saddle on me is because I've seen a donkey over there in that, in that direction, which I also want to try and befriend, so we can also add into our barn. Um, so, the reason I have a diamond shovel is because this area was not flat originally. There was a lot of dirt uh, inclines here, so I basically crafted a diamond shovel to kind of speed the whole process up, and I've leveled up this whole area, which is what I'm going to be using for the barn design. So this barn is basically, this is going to be the walkway, and these are going to be two groups to put, have animals in, probably have cows in one and horses in the other. And I will extend this, like, twice over to get potentially pigs and sheep as well, or maybe chickens. Um, but we're not going to be doing that today, for now we're just going to be sticking with the two, because we only really need the cows for the moment. And a nice place to put the horse as well, other than that tiny little square that he currently has. So, I'm going to put the uh, building equipment on my hotbar, and we're going to go... I don't need the cobble yet, and um, we're going to go ahead and see how we can do. I might need to make a crafting table, actually, now that I think about it. So I'll just put that down here temporarily as our uh, station. And uh, yeah, let's get started with this thing. So it's a pretty simple design. Um, you can kind of see the outline of it already. But basically what I'm going to go with is some glass panes. Uh, apologies for that noise. Uh, but yeah, basically this is going to go up a little bit here with the oak logs. And then 
there's going to be a, another set of oak here, and then we're going to have glass panes here for the windows, and this is going to be topped off with a cobble roof. So it's very simple, but uh, effective design. It's, it holds the uh, similar uh, block types as the mansion we made over there, so it'll look quite similar, which I think is nice because the consistency in builds is always very good. And I liked, I had the idea of topping that off with like that. So this is going to be the entrance. And of course, we're going to have to fill some of this with uh, fences and stuff so that the animals can't get out. And then on the sides, it's a very similar design. Well, in fact, the exact same, uh, just more here. And then this goes across like this. And we basically fill that with panes as well. And I'm going to turn most of these into planks because I don't think we need that many uh, logs. And this is how the side is going to look. And then the back is going to be similar to the front there. So I'll just get the base of this set up for the time being. And then we can move on to filling it in properly. Uh, so I just need the logs. And then the roof is going to consist of cobblestone and uh, oak staircases. So uh, unlike the house on the hill, we're not using any other log types for the moment. We're just going to be sticking to plain, uh, plain oak. <laughs> I completely forgot the name of the wood there for a second. Um, but yeah, so fill these in. Actually, we have enough. Well, we have enough clay paint for this bit. We just need a tiny bit more for this side, and then we should be good with the glass anyway. I think I overdid it with the glass. Actually, no. I have more glass because of the roof. So we'll fill this in and then this is the sides done anyway. So then basically this will just have, putting on having wood here on the floor. And so we'll just start that here. And then there'll be some fences and fence gates off to, to separation areas on the sides where we will have the animals. Okay, and then this will be another doorway to the uh, other half of the barn in the future. But for now I'm gonna just leave that there and we will get started on the roof. So for that I'm gonna need a lot of cobblestone slabs. And probably probably more than this to be honest, but I'll get started with this and see how we get on. So this is gonna be a very similar design to the uh, mansion. It's just gonna go around the edges and kind of just curve off like this. Whoops. I get that bit. Okay. So yeah, this is going to be very simple. Just a bit of cobblestone. I uh, originally had it as wood, but I thought cobblestone looked better to have a bit of variety there in the blocks used. I think the gray contrasts quite nicely with the brown. Uh, it does seem to be turning to nighttime-ish, so we may need to go ahead up to our house and just sleep to get it to daytime so we don't get invaded by mobs while we're in the middle of building this. Um, but yeah, the main aims for this series moving forward are going to be to get this barn set up so, and a sugarcane farm so that we can get a full level 13 enchant set up going. Um, so I might just hijack one of the beds here, if there is one. Can I please use your bed? Thank you. Apologies for that, Mr. Farmer. So yeah, you sell me bread and stuff, but uh, th thank you. Don't mind me. So that was obviously a lot quicker than going all the way back to the mansion. Uh, this pathway I kind of made here, it curved off this way to those houses, so I kind of just decided this was a good place to build it because it's kind of still in town and looks like it could have actually been here. Uh, so now I need to make some oak staircases. No, I shouldn't need too many of these, it just needs to cover the whole outside. Uh, well, the whole the whole inner roof section, but we're not going to be uh, making the roof full or anything, so I probably will need more than that. Let's see, 44. Um, I think I need a little bit more, because based on how many uh, of the slabs I needed, I should need about the same amount of stairs. So I think that should probably be good to go, but I'll just make one more set, just in case, and we'll take it from there. Okay, so let's get back on the roof, and then, as with the, uh, as you would expect, this is just going to be a very simple wooden oak staircase around the edge here to get it a bit of an incline for the roof. 
Actually, I think I overestimated how many of these I needed, but that's fine. And then for the roof here, I actually want to fill this all of this with glass. Because I think it would it uh, adds a lot of light adds a lot of light to the build once it's daytime and the animals can obviously it uh, makes it a lot nicer for the animals they can see daylight they can see the moon when it's nighttime and uh, I think it just makes the overall build look a lot nicer because it is it is a stable basically uh, we don't want to make it too artificial or cooped up for anything and uh, kind of want it open like not enclosed or anything so that was pretty quick and so let me just dismantle this here and I'm not planning on adding a doorway to this I'm planning on just keeping it open because I think it adds to the uh, adds to the effect that I was talking about of it being like open and everything and that should be enough torches so now we just need to get some fences and fence gates in there and we should be good to start rounding up some animals so let's probably craft a few of these so that's fence gate. Okay, I always forget. I always get mixed up which of uh, which of the uh, designs of these is the ones that we need. So we can just craft some fences. Eighteen, I think that should be fine. And we can put them here. So this apparently is not exactly the space that I expected. I may have made this one too small, but I guess we could just craft two fence gates instead and just have them kind of in the middle there, which is fine. So I just need to craft a couple more fence gates to uh, work with that, and then we should be good to go. So that's one more. And two. Okay, and then same on this side, put the fence gates in. Perfect. So this is our rudimentary farm uh, build, or stable, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, now we just need to round up some actual animals to get in here. So let's go and see if we can get some wheat, first of all. I might just, uh, I do like having these hay bales around, but I don't think they're too necessarily needed, especially this one. So I'm going to go and dismantle this hay bale, because it's a little bit out of the way. And uh, it should serve us to get some nice amount of wheat to start rounding up some cows. Okay, so that should be plenty. We've got seven hay bales there, so that gives us almost a stack of uh, of um, wheat, actually. But while I'm in this direction, we're going to see if we can find the donkey that I talked about earlier. And hopefully we can manage to tame him. So where... I could have sworn it was, like, just here. So it may have moved on. Oh, there, there he is. Perfect. So I would like a donkey, because we can obviously... Uh, how do I... Oh, yeah, I need not have anything in my hand. So obviously we can put uh, storage on this guy and have him go around with us, so it would be nice to have. Come on. Perfect, so we can just put a saddle on him and we can go. So let's get him over to our new stable. Uh, it looks decent enough from here. I think uh, probably could have made it a bit taller and maybe, obviously, maybe one longer to have it uh, even enough, but I think it's fine for now. So it's a pretty simple build, but I uh, wanted to get this going as soon as possible. We could have just make a mega stable or something later on down the line. But for now, I think we're going to put the horses on this side. Eh, perfect. And we can go and grab our horse as well and then put him in there. And they kind of put a lovely friend. Because I, I do feel bad about this guy cooped up here. But one funny thing that I noticed, actually, there is two villagers trapped in this hole. I don't know why they're there, or how they got there, or what is happening. And there's apparently a chicken in there, too, but I kind of like leaving them in there. Because uh, it's funny. And they don't have any jobs, so it's not I'm missing out on anything. So, yeah, this guy doesn't have too much jump power. It took quite a, pretty much a full jump to get over that uh, fence there, but uh, it's not too bad. So, get... Okay. Hmm, how am I going to do this? Hmm. Not quite sure how to get you in there. Uh, oh, there we go. So if I just open both those. Well, I guess I did need both gates then. Perfect. So now I just need to round up some cows, and we can get going. I might actually open up the other side of this just temporarily. So I did say it was going to be open, open build anyway. I think it's fine to leave this open. And uh, we can round up some cows, because it might be easier to get them in that side than uh, having to go around. 
I'll grab these few that are here. So that's four, at least, to start off with, which is pretty good. I think they're all following me. And there's probably some more around as well if I wanted to go... If I really wanted to go ahead and round some more up. Okay, I lost one. Yeah, come on. We'll follow the wheat. Okay, so once we get these four cows in there, they should be able to breed them up and get a good start on a breeding system for these guys. So we don't, we don't need too much more leather, I don't think, but uh, we do need a somewhat of an amount. Okay, so they can follow me in here. Can give them some. Give the other two some. And, yep, yeah, you tried to get out already. Perfect. So we have six cows in here now. We have four fully grown cows and two baby cows. And we also got the advancement, the parrots and the bee, the parrots and the bats. Oh, I didn't know it would tell you how you got it there. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, we have quite a lot of building materials left over, actually. I didn't think... I overestimated how much stuff I would need, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough so that I didn't run out. Um, but yeah, in terms of the sugarcane farm, we'll probably be doing that next episode. For now, I just have a very basic setup here. So it's not automatic or anything. It's not even that big. I just have it here because I wanted to at least get some sugarcane while I was waiting and doing other stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's probably about it for now, but, uh, yeah, let's have a look at our, uh, finished product here from the front and see how it looks. So let's take a few steps back and see. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sold in the entrance, so I do like that it's open, but it looks just looks slightly odd. I might need to do some stuff on the pathing, because combining the path into the wood just looks a bit odd, so I might dot some wooden planks around here just to see how it looks. Um, but yeah, we can see the animals from the outside with the glass, and they obviously have lots of natural light. Go in here, talk to them. Need to open both gates to get the horses out, so that worked out pretty well. And then we got the cows here as well. Perfect. Uh, so they probably will feed off the grass, which may... Uh, may spread over from here, but uh, if we extend this to have sheep or anything, I know they eat the grass to regrow their wool, so we might need to come up with a solution for making sure that the grass could continues to regrow if the animals eat it. But for now, I think that is a pretty good setup, and I'm quite happy with the design that we've gone with, and it, uh, it's pretty mod-proof, because I don't think mobs can spawn on the roof with it being glass, and then the rest of it is slabs or stairs, so they shouldn't be able to spawn on top, so we don't need to light up it light up too much. Um, but yeah, I am very happy with this, and hopefully the animals will be nice and happy in here as well. Um, but yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, apologies again for the missed content in the nether. Uh, it would have, it was mostly me just dying over and over again. Um, so we will prepare a lot more, and I will show you guys the nether fortress next time we go there, once we are a bit more prepared. But for the time being, it's going to be a bit more laid back stuff, getting some preparation done, ready to gear up, and then probably once we're a bit more geared up, we'll venture back, try and get some more epic loot. Um, but yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of this series. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. For now, goodbye.